Alright guys, what's up and welcome back to 7 Days to Die. Got some awesome news for you guys today. Alpha 11, it is finally out. That's right, Alpha 11, the Annihilation update is finally out. And so as you can see already, it has changed our world greatly here. There is like so much train difference already and the road curves it's pretty cool there's a lot of stuff that they added there's like pages of stuff they added and so I might be lagging quite a bit here but I don't know but it looks like we got all type of new stuff there is some issues with the graphics like I don't know if you guys are seeing it down there but uh, on the bush there it's kinda got like a uh, grid on it for some reason I gotta check it out see if it's like that up close. I don't think it is, but uh, it's something to do with the uh, background with it. They added a lot of different textures here. And as you've seen, when we got up close, it changed from dark to light. But uh, yeah, so the main parts of this update is that it is upgraded to Unity 5, of course. So with that, there's a lot of different changes. And... Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and pull up the notes and read it from there. So they've added a uh, new speed tree system, which has been something they've been working on quite a bit because it's make, made all of the trees and bushes completely different. As you just seen, uh, they added the Unity 5's Global Physical Shader which refines all of the art and takes advantage of it. They add a screen space, ambient, occlusion, which gives everything better shadows and weight and darkness in caves and interiors. They have added their new own water system that interacts with the surround or standard shader. New custom high res, better looking fog, which is gonna make this game look insane. It's going to be so creepy. They added a new high-res sky system with stars, which definitely is going to make the nights more Im more interesting to look at. New quality range system for guns that goes along with the uh, level up system. I'm not going to read all these guys. I'm just going to read whatever pops up and I can find interesting. But there's like hundreds of things they've added. A uh, new item quality range system for tools, the same as the weapons that goes by your level. And so you're going to start out with some seriously bad stuff. New player leveling system, of course. Uh, they've added a huge hospital, two new grocery stores, a new larger bookstore new larger hardware store, two new luxury cabins, and an Indian burial ground. I want to find that burial ground so badly because they've added a new thing with that too. I'll catch it here later on the list. But it's something to do with the Indian thing. The Apache. So yeah, new random gen underground cave system, new random gen roads on hills, which we just seen. New random gen biome transition diff dithering. Improved random gen rivers, bridges, over rivers. So it's going to be a completely different world than what we're used to so far. They've added new high res first person hands and first person animations, which is pretty cool because that's that definitely needed it. That might also fix the issue with the uh, sniper rifle turning sideways on us. Uh, they've added smoother iron sights. They've added a craftable primitive blunderbuss and a primitive bow and arrows. New tar or that's the one. New rare Taza stone axe, which can be found in the new rare Apache artifacts chest Apache. in caves and Indian burial grounds. Yeah, my girlfriend's getting irritated because I'm just calling it wrong. She's actually in the game with me as well. And so we'll have her say hi. Say hi. Hello. 
Hello. There we go. <laughs> All right. So yeah, she's actually going to be a part of our series from now on in season four. We are going to wrap up season three in like one more episode. And put. So they've added a uh, first person procedural camera system, which is pretty cool because it's based on your character, not the weapon anymore. And she's already leveled up, see? She's way ahead of me already. I'm busy reading these notes now. So they've added new new zombies. They're better looking zombies. They've added a new feral zombie, which is that one that they've been showing in a lot of their previews. But they've added they've uh, added high res spider zombies and upgraded the burnt zombie and made him so that he can catch you on fire, which is crazy because I don't want to meet him. New zombie gore blocks. I don't know if you guys have realized this, but the gore blocks is exactly what we was using in season three to make the uh, alien material. So I don't know how that's gonna work with season three anymore. But uh, so that's new in the system. Every time a zombie dies, it leaves behind a gore block, and they can actually stack it up and use it to climb walls. There is nowhere that's going to be safe now. They're gonna work like uh, War World War Z, and where the zombies literally climb each other to get over the walls. So yeah, the only safe way is to completely enclose your building. New items made from cloth, such as clothing, can now be scrapped in the cloth, which is pretty cool because uh, we weren't able to do that before. Uh, added cobblestone ramps and upgrade and downgrade like cobblestone blocks. So we've got the ramps for cobblestone now, which is pretty cool because now we can make cobblestone roofs. They've added wood railing recipe, a storage for a health crate or a health storage crate and recipe paper scrapping from skill books I know a lot of people wanted that too but so yeah that's uh, actually in there now so that's pretty cool And so they've added cash registers, new planes, ground texture, as we can see ahead of us there. Uh, new hunting rifle book, new sniper rifle schematics, new stone shovel and recipe, uh, new primitive sod uh, used to make sod houses, which is pretty cool because that's a new type of material entirely. Kind of like a uh, primitive style. So they brought a whole lot of Indian style stuff to this with this update. Which works, because that's kind of the setting that this has been placed into. A world where they actually was part of this area. They've added flagstone, they've added a small engine and auger blade to loot. So you can actually make augers now, guys. That's pretty cool. Added new auger recipe, added handlebars to the automotive loot. I don't know if that's going to tie in with their uh, planned mini bike system or not, but it could just be for the auger. But either way, that's pretty cool. So they've added new stuff entirely. They've added flashlight models replacing the old ones. They've added new pill case looting sounds. All type of different things. New stalactites for their new cave system. New moss and mushrooms. Also, you can eat mushrooms now. New iron shovel model, a new sludge hammer. That's gotta be cool. New system where arrows fall with gravity, so be sure to aim above their heads now, guys, with arrows, because that's how it works. Okay, there's a lot of different stuff. New recipes for arrows and bolts from femurs so you can actually have a use for the bones now guys that's pretty cool there's new bone arrows that's awesome new stun system for the zombies so if your stamina is over 50 percent you can stun them with 100 percent chance if it's under then it's your stamina level times two 
new firearm reload sounds, and that comes to the end of the added list. They've changed a lot of stuff, but I'm not going to go through the whole change thing either. So I'll leave that to you guys. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys some of the uh, new stuff if we can find it here. Let's see what we can find. Let's go catch up with Sass. She's like way up here already killing stuff. Actually, we better craft a bow first. Alright, so we need to find a bow. Wooden bow. Alright, we don't have enough sticks at all. So we're one stick short. That's okay, because there's a bush right up here, and we're going to go take this bush. I'm pretty sure we can make wooden arrows as well, I don't know. She's up there hunting animals, so in worst case, we'll just steal her, her bows, arrows from the bones. As you're seeing right there, it actually, the grass gives us plant fibers automatically now. So it's no longer just grass, it gives us plant fiber straight up. That is awesome. So we can make plant fiber pants and all that stuff pretty easily now. So that's all good. And there's our first bow. That's how you make a bow, guys. And as you can see, you've already got the blunderbuss in your recipe, so that's just basically a makeshaft gun. While well, that's actually really easy to make. A wooden plank and two pipes. Wow, that's like really easy. Oh, and you don't even need metals. That's awesome. You just need gunpowder, papers, and rocks. Or iron fragments. Or scrap metal. That's even easier. That's probably the easiest one with the uh, rocks. So it basically looks like the rest of them's all the same. Uh, we need arrows. Ooh, we need stone for that. Okay. Plague nurse. Yeah, you better go get that plague nurse. I already did. Yeah, so you're going all the way up there and leave me behind back here. Let's see how it is. Ooh, that's a new tree. Yeah, well, you're slow. Look at how twisted this tree looks. That's crazy. I'm gonna keep playing with all these uh, zombies. I'm coming. Also, that other guy's wrecker, but uh, he's not very interested in this now. Now that it's out, because he's kind of upset, because for him the graphics are like really messed up, I guess. But for me, they're actually working pretty smoothly. I do have a little bit of lag, so I will have to turn this down. But I wanted to kind of show you guys what the world changed to with just uh, just my old world and the settings I had this is what it looks like now but yeah so since so much changed you actually have to uh, completely remake a new game so if you plan on continuing your old game it's not gonna work because I've already tried it just says cannot be connected to server or something like that we have to actually update our private server too You got rocks up there? I see you leaving behind your gore blocks. I'm not gonna pick them up and take them with me. Yeah. 
Alright guys, as you just seen there, that plagued nurse that she killed, it actually just turned into a gore block. So that right there is what the new gore blocks look like. And the zombies, as they die on top of this stuff, they'll actually create that fleshy material that I showed you guys in Season 3 as the alien material. But yeah, so that's the flesh system. It's pretty cool. That's their new gore blocks. And that stuff piles up. I'm trying to find a new prefab. Hopefully we can find like a hospital or something and show you guys their new stuff. They've added shopping carts and stuff too, so it looks like an actual grocery store. It's unique. Out of town. Alright, going to it. There's zombies all around it. Well, you're the one with the weapon. I need to find rocks for that. Whatever. This is just a demo uh, video. Alright, so there's got to be rocks somewhere around here. There's the new trash textures. the uh, weapon here. Ooh, as you also seen right there, that is uh, literally one block higher than the ground down here. So the roads actually do change heights too, so it's going to be pretty cool looking with the just the things. It would be nice if we could find a cave in this video, but I don't think we're going to. But perhaps this little, uh, perhaps this town will have uh, one of those new prefabs they added. Alright, let's see how the new combat lo works. Like, look at that, there's a wooden shack right there even. What? Did you see that? My health went down a whole- wow. What? Is that- why is my health bar halfway? I guess that improves based on how much wellness you got. I guess that could be helpful in some ways. Take this cheerleader. As you notice, she has a uh, shine on her from the uh, surrounding area, so that's pretty cool. All metal objects will also have the shine that reflects whatever you see around you. So if you're walking on a road, you'll see the uh, road reflect through the uh, knife or anything metal that you got. It's pretty cool. We apparently have longer arms. <laughs> I believe that is their new model for the uh, nude walker. Oh great. I'm bleeding. I think I leveled up too. The leveling system is going to play a huge part in this now. Yeah, see I'm level 2. And you actually can zoom in and out on your character now, so that's pretty cool. You can actually see their face. And the wellness bar is actually shown now, so it actually shows how far you are in the maximum of 200. I'm halfway at 100. And so on. I better use this bandage before I die, though. Also, the, um, the toolbar down there actually shows the image of a belt, a very makeshaft belt. Yeah, kill that fat one for me. And the zombies are really attracted to sound now. 
So every little bit of sound that is made, they will hear it. And also sneak up onto you now because the sound occlusion, if you're inside a building, you won't hear them outside unless they're right next to it, which could prove very difficult to avoid. He's killing those with a bow and arrow. We need to get inside one of these houses. Also, I think this is a... Uh... Yeah, this is one of their new settings, because there wasn't a prefab like this in the uh, plains biome before. It's ironic that we find the planes biome after we was looking for it. But up there I believe is a new biome, or a new uh, prefab right there. So we're going to go to this one that has like this porch. I think that's new. It looks rather new. Oh no, it's one of those, okay. Yeah, it's one of those. But there's also an alternate version of that one that has like a uh, garage underport thing like a, a parking space which is cool lags getting the better of me I'm lagging pretty bad but that's alright because it's crazy alright there was something else I wanted to show you guys so we can get it to show up Except I think I froze. We're going to turn that on. in here. As you can see the running animation is completely different so it's no longer the wobbling wobble and you're not positioned in a very awkward way in third person either. Like they don't wobble side to side anymore and these zombies have really lagged me bad there's like a lot of them there's like 30 or so in this town alone it's supposed to limit them to like 50 zombies but since it's only the two of us and we're both in this area that is where they're all spawning But yeah, that wasn't what I was trying to show you guys. I'm going to actually go into a uh, cheating style here. Yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to switch it to night and show you guys the night sky and then that's going to be it for this update video. And I will see you guys with the uh, series, our actual season 4 series that will be starting probably this upcoming week. But uh, I want to show you guys this new sky. Like, I don't know, did you see that? Look up. Look at that. That is just beautiful. That is amazing. Definitely needed because that just adds a lot of realism to it. And then as it gets later in the night, and then when it gets to morning, the fog sets in. Like, look at this, guys. You used to be able to see everything there. I can't see a single thing now. 
So you guys don't want to be caught out during the night or early morning because you're not going to be able to see anything anywhere. It adds a major creep factor to the game and you don't know where they're coming from, where they're at, or anything. Very dangerous at night now. Let's see the uh, sunrise. Should be here shortly. And then I watch it clip through all of this fog. Soon. <laughs> there we go. I think it's hitting that point. I don't even know where I'm looking at, to be honest. There, right there, I think, is the sun. And we start to see the uh, houses over there. I see is fog and some building tops. Yeah, that's uh, basically what I'm seeing here too. Look off to the right and I can see the actual buildings as the sun's rising. So they brought a lot of weather systems to this. Uh, in the snow biome, the snow will blow. In the desert biome, the sand will blow. I'm hoping they kind of improve on this even further and make it so it has a full dynamic weather system like rain, snow, sleet, and ice. And like even makes the ground slippery. And that's it. So yeah, that's the update for Alpha 11 guys. Be sure to check it out. It's definitely worth checking out. There is so much added. So that is an airdrop rocks through. But you can see the sunlight reflecting off of the ground and all that, so it's a lot of new stuff. And there's a lot of changes and all that. New mo caps on the zombies. Anyway guys, I hope to see you guys with season four of the Sinful Survivors. Until then, keep sinful, keep alive, keep watching. Thanks for watching.